top scores are simulating in the exact same format as test day. So you're not treating them all the same. You're not doing some questions on your phone, others out of a book, others out of a pamphlet, others out of a PDF. You're doing it the same way you'll do it on test day. And before I was saying PDFs were fine or even books were fine, but now that we've got digital LSAT, you might as well do it the same way you'll do it on test day. And your access is good for one year from LSAC. So assuming you're taking the LSAT in the next year, you might as well just get it now. If you're not quite ready yet though, you could get two of them in that format for free inside your LSAC.org account. They are currently making available 71 and 73 for free, which were from about 2014 or so, still perfectly recent, still perfectly relevant. And then when you're ready to level up your exam prep, you would then purchase the access to get most of them. But you want to be simulating test day down to every single little detail. That includes the format of the exam. That includes the timing. So once you're ready for timed exams, you're doing those three sections back to back, no break, and you're done for the flex. For the regular, the five section exam, you're doing three sections back to back, no break, then a short 10 minute break, then two more sections back to back. But you are mimicking everything as precisely as you can. For those taking the June LSAT or the July LSAT, both of which are likely to be a flex, June is definitely, of course, I would be practicing for flex while for July still considering the possibility of regular, but assuming that you're home anyway, you might as well do it at the same desk. You'll do the actual thing for flex practice on the same computer, the same device, you'll do the actual thing and you're even simulating the warm up. So especially for flex, since all questions are weighted the same and it's only three sections, you want to be ready to go since you know every question counts. So before you start your time exam, you're doing a favorite game, a favorite passage, a favorite couple logical reasoning questions. You're doing those right before you hit start so that you're warmed up and ready to go because there's no room to get warmed up on test day given that nothing is experimental and everything counts for real. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.